Hey guys, today we are gonna learn the camera projection in Fusion Studio 9, without wasting any time let's get started. Hello guys, welcome to the Filmo Point, today we will understand camera projection. Let's take a new composition, go to the file, new. I am importing my image through loader, you can simply drag and drop your image or footage to the timeline. If we see our frame format is 1920 into 1861, but we need our format should be 1080p, so first we check the frame format, go to, file, preferences, frame format, so my frame format is that what I need, now we open the search bar by pressing ctrl plus space bar, then search resize and connect it with your footage, here we go, just drag your resize layer to the source monitor. Now you can see the frame format is 1080p now, press Ctrl plus F to fit to screen. It's just an image, but we need 3D environment to project our camera to do the projection. Let's take a camera. Drag it to the source monitor. So here we have our 3D space, by pressing Alt plus center button of mouse to rotate the environment, Ctrl, and scroll in or scroll out to zoom in or zoom out. So now for camera projection, we are going to create 3D of this image, as you can see this is just a 2D image. Take a merge 3D and connect it with camera 3D. Now to make this image 3D, we need image planer or shape 3D, let's take a image planer. So here we can see our image plane in the 3D space, that's the small shape near the camera. Here it is. So move its Z axis, and you can see that our image plane is too small. So to project our stock footage on image plane, click on the camera 3D, see the property panel, click on the image, and uncheck the enable image plane, then click on the projection and enable camera projection. So now you may wondering that, why our image disappears, this is due to the settings we did for the projection, now we need our image to be project on this image plane card, but first scale up the image plane. Go to the axis settings of the image plane and scale it up. Then turn the light on, showing in the source monitor. To see the 2D output of our composition, search render 3D then connect it to the merge 3D. Drag your render 3D to the right source monitor. Check the enable lightning. Go to the image plane and increase its scale up to 14%. Click on the camera 3D. Just lock the camera, so that it won't move by mistake. Ok, so what to do? Just push in your image plane in Z axis, and increase its scale, I will put it 50. Nice. Zoom into your 3D space environment. So take the copy of image plane, press Ctrl C, click beside and then press Ctrl V, and then connect it with merge 3D. Ok, now see in the left source monitor, we have to move these axis points to put it on the edge, and the center where our wall starts. Let's make bottom of our image first. Just go to the axis point properties of image plane, and drag the X rotation to the left, to set the image plane card. Ok, let's see by rotating our 3D space, just drag little more of X rotation to the left, ok. So now uncheck the scale XYZ option, then change its Y value to 50. Rotate it to C. Ok nice, we made our bottom, don't care about these bends in the walls, it's gonna be okay when we make these walls. Make another copy of image plane 1, be sure to copy image plane 1 not 2. Again connect it with merge 3D, move its X and Y axis to the edge and center of the right wall. Set it according to the center and edge, here we go. Now go to the properties panel of image plane, and drag its Y rotation to the left. Ok zoom it out, Rotate your 3D space and see the lower edge of the wall, should perfectly attach your right wall to the bottom floor, do the changes to make it appropriate. You can also set the joining of the walls here, by changing Y rotation. Ok nice. Now take one more copy of image plane 1, and do the same thing, move its X and Y axis to put it at the center and edge of the wall. Go to its material options, drag the Y rotation to the left, and set it with the floor. Zoom to see the results we are getting, make changes for perfection. Ok nice, so we are at the end step of creating our 3D environment of hallway. 
let's create the roof of our hallway, but our roof looking weird, don't worry, I am gonna pass through our other planes, pass through is the option of disable our layer, select and press ctrl p to pass through these layers. Ok so again copy image plane 1, click beside then paste it, connect it with merge 3D, zoom in, and move its X and Y axis to put it at the center and on the edge of the roof, go to material options, drag the X rotation to the right, and set it, ok, so we made our 4 walls and 1 back, for camera projection, so again select those 3 disabled layers, press ctrl P to make them active, here we go. Just rename these layers, this won't be more confusing, click on the layer and press F2 button to name it, I am naming it top, making it fast to save your time. Take another camera 3D, for projection, and connect it to merge 3D. Rotate your 3D space and make sure your camera 1 is locked, click on the render 3D, and change camera from default to camera 3D2. Move the Z axis of the camera 3D2 to see the projection, here we go, but we need that camera should automatically move, let's animate the camera. Go to the axis options, then right click on the down arrow, and click on animate translation group, also animate the rotation group. Let's set it to 100 frames. Go to the last frame and then move its Z axis, it will automatically make the key. Let's play it, it may take time in your PC for preview, here you go. We have done our camera projection, I want to tell you that our camera is projecting through the hallway, if we do this in real we will get the same thing, projection is not zooming or scaling, see this projection, the far away part is slowly coming toward camera and close part of walls moving fast, if we do scale or zoom all our image scaled up equally, so keep in mind camera projection and scaling are not common. Let's move to the next step. I am importing one PNG image of zombie to the composition, just to show how to position any object, ok, so here you can see the zombie. If you want proper PNG, just go to import, check post multiply by alpha, and if you want know more about this abha relation with PNG, check out my first tutorial of Fusion Studio 9. Now just unconnect render 3D, take one merge 3D, connect merge 3d1 and render 3d with merge 3d2 simultaneously our zombie is 2d to put it in 3d space take image plane connect it with zombie and merge 3d2 okay drag and put your merge 3d2 into the south monitor to see the output check the 2d output by dragging your render 3d into source monitor click on the image plane and push in its z axis you can see the zombie is in air but we want to make its contact with ground. Move down the X axis, to make its contact with the floor. Go to axis options of image plane, increase its scale, move it down to X axis, if you want to see the contact of your oboic with the floor, just see that down, if the edge of the image started cutting, then your image is exceeding the floor, just put it almost close to that, you can also see by zooming in your composition. Just set your object where you want. Now we have set the zombie but why our object is showing in black, what to do, go to material options of image plane, uncheck receives lightning and shadows. Here you go. Let's see the preview. Ok nice. This was all about basic camera projection in Fusion Studio 9, stay tuned for more updates, thanks for watching.